Yes, sir. Yes, uh, when you take a look at this week in totality between the president laying out his uh, his demands on, on immigration, the Iran deal today, the, his steps he took on the Affordable Care Act, are we seeing some of the limits of what Democrats can do to stop his agenda or on the flip no. side the power that a president has even if he can't get a bill through? Well, the, I'm not even sure what he did yesterday was legal, and there will be others who will question that uh, in the courts. But in the meantime, we have a way to uh, uh, to remedy. I use that word specifically to remedy what is needed for our health, uh, the health, the good health of the American people. Um, and it's about the American people. That is the the court of public opinion is the wisest court that there is. And I respect the president. He is the president of the United States. I respect the job that he holds, the position he holds. I respect the people who voted for him. I'm glad they voted. I'm just happy when people vote. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do want them to know what it means in their lives when he goes off on a spiteful, cruel toot. Uh, to diminish their access to affordable care. And this isn't about just people of low, lower income, but they do suffer. It's about the middle class being the hardest hit in all of this and the taxpayer having to pay the price. So when, if it comes to how we meet the needs of the American people, how it impacts their economic well-being, and how it rep uh, impacts the national debt, either the president has, is being ill-advised or somebody there doesn't know how to do the math. But this is a bad idea for everyone in our country, including the national budget and the debt. So in any event, the uh, again, I think we have to calmly approach this because we have to do this sanely. And uh, I'll just go back to one thing, because I keep using the word spite. Spite became very clear to all of us when the president announced that he was going to overturn the Affordable Care Act. He calls it Obamacare and not a complimentary way. I call it that in a complimentary way, but I call it the Affordable Care Act. When he said he was going to do it on the day that the, it became law. <clears throat> you don't bring anything to the floor in spite of somebody else, something that happened seven years before. You bring it to the floor when you have the votes. And that was the beginning of the end of any legislative overturning of the Affordable Care Act. So now let's uh, act in a respectful way uh, to each other, recognizing the president has the signature, the Republicans have the majority, the American people have the voice, and we're here uh, for their good health.